be strong. Hey everybody, how's it going? Kim here. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are doing a 30 minute relaxing stretch. All you need is your mat, so go ahead, get set up, and let's do this. Let's start this stretch in a cross-legged position. Place your hands on the front of your knees. You're going to roll those shoulders back and down, belly button in. Now start to tuck that tailbone underneath as you arch through your spine. Bring your chin to meet your chest and opening up those shoulder blades. Good, we're gonna reverse that. So starting from the tailbone, you're pulling the belly in and pressing forward, stacking your vertebrae. Let's twist it to one side. So bringing the right hand onto your left knee. Nice spinal twist here, looking over your left shoulder. Slowly coming back and over to the other side. here so take your hands interlace your fingers place them on the back of your head pull your elbows forward and just tuck your chin down don't pull your head just let the weight of your arms gently bring your chin closer to your chest Lifting the head, place your hands down beside you. Take a look over your right shoulder, then bring your chin down to meet that shoulder blade. And then take your left hand and press it down to the floor. So you can feel that stretch all the way down through the side of your neck. Feel free at any point to close your eyes if it feels good. This is time to just let go. So take your feet so they are right in front of you, but then pull them towards your glutes, wrap your arms around your knees and sit up nice and tall. Just give yourself a nice big hug here. From here, we're gonna open up those knees, feet together, dropping your knees to the floor. Focus on your breathing here. Nice deep breath into your belly. And exhale, release your shoulders. Good, you can lean it to one side. Find what areas are tight on your body. Here, let's come on to all fours. So take your hands directly under your shoulders, your knees are under your hips, 
and we're just gonna rock our hips over to one side. Let it hang there. Get into the side of the hips. And switch sides. Good, come back to center. Tuck your toes into your mat. We're gonna go into the cat cow. So tailbone down towards the floor, belly button in, arching through the back, drop your head down to the floor. And then we're gonna reverse that. So tailbone lifts, belly button down, chest to the floor, looking. Final one, just come to a nice neutral spine, release your feet down, and then bring your hips to meet your heels. Reaching those fingers forward, drop your forehead to the floor. all fours we'll step one foot forward so we're in a nice low lunge so that back knee is as far back as you can get it push your hips down to meet the floor from here we're going to take our left hand right beside our right foot turn our body towards the right you can place your hand on your knee you can place your hand on your low back or you can reach it out back to center we're just going to lift the chest now keeping that hip pressing down then take your left hand reach it up towards the ceiling and then bring it across the body and slightly back getting deeper into our hip flexors into the psoas muscle come out of that position so we're gonna stay here but we're gonna take that front foot and we're gonna straighten it out so coming up on the heels toes pointing towards you from here you're just going to gently lean forward get into that calf and hamstring breath in and exhale let's take our hands on the inside of that right foot and bring it back to meet the left and bring your left foot forward coming into that low lunge good from here place your Right hand to meet your left foot. Give yourself a little twist here. And again, feel free to bring the arm up or place it on the low back, whatever feels good for you. Or you can even just keep it on that knee.
bringing it back to center, staying in that lunge position, right hand up towards the ceiling, bring it across the body, and then just lean back slightly. Runner's lunge on this side. So heel into the floor. Nice straight leg. Pull that toe towards you. Hinging slightly forward. Again, under your shoulders, we're going to go into a down dog. So use your hands to push yourself off the floor, driving that tailbone up, then heels down. Relax your head. And you can just sway it from side to side if you'd like. Shift your weight forward and then come all the way down to the floor. Place your hands under your shoulders. right foot forward but this time we're gonna have that left knee so it's directly underneath your hips so we're gonna go more into our quads rather than our hip flexors so here tuck the tailbone down squeeze your glutes and you're gonna feel that coming into the quads we're gonna add some upper body stretching here so let's take that left arm across your chest grabbing on with your right arm Stretch your shoulders, pushing your hip forward Never could foresee the things would turn out the way they did. Your stories weren't your stories after all. You and I both had it wrong. And release. Let's do the other side. Now picking up the pieces one by Tucking one. Tucking the tailbone down, squeeze the glutes. This whole thing right arm across so the chest. Sore. I'll never forgive you. I'm done. Remember how we snuck out. Used to take the car and go. Okay, back into our down dog. This time we're going to get into our glutes. So on all fours, take it back into your down dog. Hold here for a nice deep breath in. Pushing away from the floor and just let that head hang down. And lift your left leg up towards the ceiling. Start to pull the knee towards your chest, shifting your weight. And then drop that foot down. So you want to bring your ankle as close to your right hand as you can. And very slowly slide that back leg behind you. If it feels good to come down onto your elbows, you can lie down. If that's too far, stay up on your hands. And you can even bring your forehead down to meet the floor or into your forearms.
Pins under your shoulders. Let's go back into that down dog. Lift the tailbone. Up on the toes, right leg up towards the ceiling. Bend your knee, pull it towards your chest. Extend that left leg back. As you lift yourself up, you can just roll yourself over to meet your right glutes. Bring your feet around. We're gonna sit up nice and tall. Pull those toes towards you. Take a deep breath in, roll the shoulders back, and then just slide your hands down your thighs, just until you feel that stretch in through the back of the thighs. your hands let's take that right leg cross it over the left grab on with your left hand around Pull your left toe towards you. Inhale your right arm up towards the ceiling exhale let's give it a bit of a twist hand behind your back. center. From here, just place that ankle on top of the thigh, opening up the knee here, and then you can just hinge it forward slightly. Lifting your chest, place your left foot on the floor, hands behind your back, sit up nice and tall. right leg to the floor and we're going to extend those legs out again so this time take that left leg cross it over your right wrap your right arm around your left knee pull your knee towards your chest inhale that left arm up exhale down behind you look over your shoulder chest forward, place that left ankle on top of your right thigh, chest down. And lifting, bending that right knee, right foot on the floor, sit up tall. And then 
and just release it. Let's come to the front of our mat. We're gonna roll down nice and slowly onto our back. So place your hands in front of your knees and then tuck that tailbone in. And under, belly button in, exhale, just hang it. We're getting nice and low here. Slowly roll it all the way down. Extend those legs out, arms over your head, get nice and long. And just let those feet open up to the side. Good. Place your feet on the floor, cross your left leg over your right knee like you're sitting cross-legged. And then from here, we're gonna bring those knees over to your right side, keeping those shoulder blades on the floor. stretch and then switch so right leg crosses over the left very gently pulling the right knees over towards the left side Untangle yourself. Good. Roll over onto one side. Use your hand to lift yourself up. We're going to place our right leg behind us and we're going to turn our body towards our left knee and just start with our fingers on the floor, pushing that hip forward, so driving that hip. Take our right arm and come down onto our forearm. Now if this is enough of a stretch, just stay there. Or if you'd like, you can lift up and come all the way down onto the shoulder and lower it down. yourself back up slide that right arm out and let's switch sides again so left leg behind you start with your fingertips on the ground turn and push that hip forward to the elbow, come down onto your elbow. And finally, if you like, roll it all the way down to that shoulder.
Let's sit up, cross-legged again. And this time we're gonna take our hands forward. So this will get into our hip flexors, so the sides of the hips and the low back. So hands in front of you, sitting up nice and tall. You're gonna slowly start to walk your hands forward and you're gonna see if you can bring your head as close to the floor as you can. Engage your core as you pull yourself back, rolling yourself up to a straight back. And before we switch which legs is in front, let's take that left arm straight up towards the ceiling. Our right fingertips are on the floor, and then we're gonna bring that left arm across, keeping your hips on the floor. And relax your head. Good, and then turn your chest so it's towards your right knee and reach that arm nice and long from the hip all the way up through the shoulder. Lift the arm up and place it down. So now we're gonna take that left leg, bring it in front of the right, and we'll do the same thing on this side. So walk yourself out, release your head down. Slide your fingertips along the floor as you sit up. Left time beside you, right arm straight up, reach it across the body, get nice and long. Good, turn that chest towards the left knee, reaching the fingertips. your back, interlace your fingers. Let's really open up that chest here. Nice deep breath in. And let go any remaining tension you might have left in the body. And one more time, big breath. And good. release it. Take a deep breath in, guys. Big inhale and exhale. Thanks so much for joining me on this stretch. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you're feeling much more relaxed. All right, guys, that's it for me today. Stay safe. I'll see you on the next one.